Hey guys, Dr. Tony Doremus. I want to preview my talk that I'm giving uh, at the Parker Dallas Homecoming uh, this coming October the 3rd, 1st through the 3rd. But I first have to tell you something, and I'm so excited about this. Now, I was in a board of trustees meeting last Thursday and Friday. It was the first time that I've been back to the campus since the tornado, and it will blow you away. The things that they've been able to do to that campus in such a short amount of time, it's just mind boggling. Um, you know, I, I had a classroom in the South Building, just like a lot of you guys did. Uh, you will not recognize this building. It is the most modern building, the technologically advanced building I've ever seen. The, the things that they're doing now to teach students at that school, I, it's, it's amazing. And I'm, I'm really kind of jealous because they found a way to make learning fun. But here, here's the topic of, of my talk at, at Parker Dallas, and, and I want to see if this resonates with you. When I graduated chiropractic college, I joined a practice management company just like you guys did, and I was handed a manuscript of what to say to patients. You know, during the report of findings, during the consultation, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, if you do this, then they'll accept care. But like me, many of you realize that that was not the case at all. And why? The reason why it didn't happen the way they said it did is because only 7% of your communication is verbal. And that's it. And what that means is the other 93% are non-verbal clues. So you have to be watching body language. You have to observe what these patients are wearing. And then, and only then, you'll be able to know if you're getting your message across. So that's what I wanna teach you, but here's a bonus to this. These same exact cues that your patients are giving, you may be doing the same thing. You may be exhibiting signs of, of a lack of confidence or maybe some arrogance or whatever it may be that's turning these patients away from you. So come to Dallas, October the 1st through the 3rd, and listen to this talk, it's gonna be fantastic, but I'm so excited for you to actually see the campus. We'll see you there, bye-bye.